Hi guys, have you ever watched the Disney Frozen movie? I bet almost every single one of us has watched this movie. Frozen is an animated music film released in 2013. The story revolves around two princesses, Elsa and Anna, who lived in the kingdom of Arendelle. Elsa possesses magical ice powers that she struggles to control, and she isolated herself after mistakenly turning Arendelle to eternal winter. Anna, Elsa's only sister determined to bring back summer, embarks on a journey accompanied by an iceman named Kristoff, Sveen, and a living snowman named Olaf. The climax involves a confrontation between Elsa and Anna and their fight with Prince Hans. True love breaks the ice curse, restoring summer and thawing Elsa's frozen heart, rediscovering the importance of family and love. Were there any OB-related issues in this movie? We can see here there was a drug triad by the personality of High Mac. Who is Prince Hans? Prince Hans is a selfish and manipulative person. He sees others merely as tools to achieve his goals. He also engages in deceitful behavior to acquire his longing for being powerful. An extreme example of his high mac is leaving Anna to freeze, then locking her away to execute his sinister plan to kill Queen Elsa and seize the throne. When Anna heart was frozen, he left her to die because he thinks that she is now useless for his agenda. Now let's us take a look at the personality of the two main characters based on MBTI. Elsa INTJ Elsa is an introverted person, as she tends to keep her thoughts and feelings to herself. She is also an initiative trait as she restrains her powers due to fear of harm, but as the story unfolds, she becomes braver. Next, she is also thinking. She relies on logic and reason. Particularly when it comes to controlling her powers, she isolates herself for the safety of her country. And the last is judging. Elsa feels the responsibility of maintaining order and control. Next is Anna. She is an ESFP. Anna is an extroverted as she is lively and sociable individual. Anna has impulsive actions driven by immediate feelings and desires aligned with traits associated with sensing types. She is driven by her emotions and personal values. Anna is perceiving, she is depicted as spontaneous, adaptable and open to new experiences, often acting on immediate feelings and desires. From this movie, we also observe the issue of self-fulfilling prophecy. Elsa's journey reflects this psychological concept where beliefs and expectations influence behavior. It all started where her ice powers were refilled and she accidentally hurt her sister. This incident makes her parents think that she is dangerous and label her as dangerous. This belief shapes Elsa's perception and influences her behavior. In an attempt to protect others, Elsa isolates herself. She thinks that she is a threat. She later on embraces a person of isolation and emotional distance. Her actions, driven by the fear of hurting others, led her to withdraw from social interactions, creating a self-fulfilling prophecy. Elsa and Anna's MBTI are contributing to Prince Hans taking advantage of them. Elsa's fear of hurting people and Anna's ability to be close to everybody made it easier for him to manipulate them. In real life, we must understand that keeping distance from a person with high Mac is needed, setting boundaries clear so that we can protect ourselves. Now let us compare this issue with the Islamic perspective. This movie contains a lot of elements that contradicts the Islamic teaching. For example, the behavior of Prince Hans. It explained in the hadith, لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لأخيه كما يحب لنفسه. You are not a believer until you wish for your brother what you wish for yourself. A high Mac person does not really apply the concepts of Islamic teaching. The self-fulfilling prophecy is also very wrong. As mentioned in the Quran, Inna dhanna la yughni min al shay'a. Indeed, such passions can be no avail against the truth. A person should not be treated based on what we assume, rather by who they truly are. Seeing the world in a negative manner as what Elsa do is not what Islam teaches us. As mentioned in the Quran, La tahzan. We should not be sad because we know Inna Allaha ma'ana. That Allah is always with us and we have to have hope. As conclusion, this movie teaches us a lot of lessons, and by learning OB, we are able to understand other people's behavior, plus linking it with the teachings of Islam will be very beneficial and crucial for our life. That's all from us. 
Thank you so much. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.